This is a device that sits in a tank of water. It is a wheel that rotates because this side is always remains more buoyant than the other side. The way this device works is as follows. The rotating wheel has four units. Each of these units consists of a metal ball inside a long balloon. With these two units, the balls are at the end of the balloon and the tails are collapsed. This makes these two units heavier than water and they sink. With these two units, gravity has pulled the balls down. As the balls fall, they push open the balloon tails and the weight of the balls keeps the balloons expanded, keeps them stretched outward. The unit as a whole the have displaced enough water that they are now lighter than water. The unit is buoyant and it floats upward. When the unit is in this position, the ball falls to this end. This causes the balloon to collapse because of water pressure squeezing in on it. The unit is now heavier than water and the unit sinks. In this view, the wheel has rotated a quarter of the way. With this unit, the falling ball has half expanded the balloon. However, the other half remains collapsed. So that means that half is buoyant and half is not. This arrow indicates the halfway or middle point of the wheel. Here the balloon is expanded on both sides. So half the balloon is trying to rotate the wheel this way, but this half of the balloon is trying to rotate the wheel backward. So they cancel each other out just as the same way as these two cancel each other out. This is not buoyant enough to lift the ball by itself. It needs to be fully inflated. The balloon has to be fully inflated to be able to lift the ball upward. So these cancel out, these cancel out. However, this side remains buoyant and this room and rises upward and this side remains heavier than water and sinks. So the wheel should continue to turn. Now, this is an example of a machine that works in theory, but no one has ever been able to build it because of the problem with the balloons. If the balloons are made of too stiff a material, the balls cannot inflate them properly. If the balloons are too thin a material, the water pressure will squeeze in on them and cause them to deflate enough so they're no longer buoyant. So this could theoretically be built. Maybe someday somebody will build it. 